right, I'm Daryl Ford, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up and check the alignment of an extruder barrel. The purpose of it is to align the barrel to the gearbox. In other words, this barrel, they mounted on here, and we wanna ensure that it's in line with the axis of rotation of this gearbox. Saying on the, the end of the gearbox, you have a see-through gearbox. Sometimes you have a large ID in there, and we're gonna put a three-jaw chuck in here. And I take the chuck key and I mount this onto the gearbox and tighten the jaws. Then we'll put the 705 in there. And again, set these at the nominal settings. I'd like to just put a piece of paper on here and do a course alignment. In other words, I'll tape a piece of paper on the end of the barrel. The object here is to get the laser beam so it's in the center of the, of the barrel. And I turn the laser into the inverted position. In other words, upside down. Rotated 180 degrees from the normal position. And I'm gonna take a magic marker, a felt marker, and I'm gonna put a dot in the center of that laser beam. I can see the beam on, through the paper. Now I'm gonna turn this back to the normal position. Now my dot will be in a different spot. So, I'm gonna take my marker and put a dot in the middle of the laser beam there. Then I'm gonna take a tape measure and I'm gonna measure between those two. And I'm gonna put a dot halfway between those two marks. Now I'm gonna adjust the laser beam so it's on that dot that I just made. Okay, that puts us on the dot. So now I have the laser beam on the dot. That's course aligning the beam. We have on this adapter, we have two sides. There's a self-centering mode and there's a measuring mode. So when we're gonna do the alignment, we wanna put this in from the self-centering side. This target slides into the adapter and then we have the set screws that we put in here to hold the target in place. Now we have to put the legs in. I have to have the target in there, and then I slide the leg in there and tighten the set screw against the legs. Okay, so now the legs are, are in there. And these legs are pushed up against the OD of this target. Now this is a, what we call a true self-centering target with no moving parts. In other words, these legs are a little bigger than the bore itself, so when I put it in, it's gonna be at an angle. But you see how these legs are offset. They're offset, but right here in the middle where this pivots, that's where we're, our measuring plane is at. That's where we measure at. So this can change its angle all day long, and it's always gonna stay self-centered. Then we'll put the handle on the target. That just screws on there. And when we put this in the bore, we just gently pull back on this cable so that tilts down and it'll fit in the bore and we'll release it and it'll lock itself into the bore and be self-centered. Okay, then we have a level on the end of the, of the pole. So when we have the cable on the bottom, make this level from side to side. I've done a course line with the paper. Now I have to fine tune this. So I'm gonna look at my numbers here and I have a minus 103 and a plus 36. The vertical number is minus 103 and the horizontal number is plus 36. The object here is I'm gonna rotate this 180 degrees and I'm gonna add the two vertical numbers together and divide it by two so I get an average that's gonna be my vertical set point. I'm gonna add the two horizontal numbers together and divide that by two or get an average, and that's gonna be my horizontal set point. So now I'm gonna turn this 180 degrees. And now I read plus 21 and plus 67. I get minus 41. So that's my vertical set point. 
I get plus 51 and a half, or I'm just gonna make that 52. That's my horizontal set point. Okay, so I'm gonna adjust the vertical and the horizontal micrometers. Okay, minus 41 and plus 52. I'm gonna turn this 180 degrees. And now I'm minus 34 and 57, so I'm just gonna do the math again. When you're off that far, it's gonna, you're gonna have to do it a couple of times. So I want minus 38 and plus 55. Oh, so I'll do it again. Minus 38 plus 55. Turn it 180 degrees. Minus 37 and 54. So that's, I'm within half a thou. So one, one thousand is total, but the error is actually half of that. So what that's telling me is this end of the barrel is 37 thousandths low and it's 55 thousandths off to the right. So it has to come to 53 thousandths. I have to raise this up and I have to move it over in this direction. So normally on these, you have a, a V block that this barrel sets in. So you can, you can make these adjustments. Okay, so now I've adjusted the barrel, so I'm zero horizontally, and I'm minus three thousandths low. I always want to leave these a little bit low. The bigger the barrel, the more lower I want it. A six inch barrel, I want about ten thousandths low when it's cold. The reason for that is this barrel is going to grow in diameter as it heats up. So we figure a, a six inch barrel is going to grow about, raise up about ten thousandths. So it's two and a half inch barrel, two or three thousandths. We'll put it right in line when it gets hot. Sometimes you have an adjustment point in the middle like I have here. Uh, some barrels don't have that. But if you want to measure it, you can simply move this target in to about the adjustment point there. And using the level, we want to make sure we have the target oriented right. And we can see there we're 8 thousandths low and we're 3 thousandths to the right. So, that's pretty much how you do an alignment.